Hi everyone, welcome back to our DIY building a house series. In case you missed the first episode, Lucas and Chelsea are building a 2300 square foot exposed beam home. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a three stall garage. We've had a lot of interest in this home already. It is available as a kit or a complete package to be built anywhere in the US and Canada. And of course, you can customize it, modify it to be however you would like. And here I see the house right up ahead, pulling into the job site. There is a lot of quick progress. It looks great, let's check it out. Yeah, I see everything's back filled in since I've been here last. Yep. What does it feel like to see everything coming together? Well, it feels great. I mean, everything's moving along pretty quick. Uh, once we got the masons, got the block all in, everything's just kind of falling into play. And you think this will all be wrapped up today? Yep, yep, we should finish up with this. Uh, probably this afternoon and uh, hopefully we can get the inspector out here right away to give the okay and uh, get the concrete guys out here to put that final grade on so we can get foam down. And that is so big because then we'll see the walls go up. Yep, you'll be starting right. to see things. It'll, it'll look like something. Here you are in what many would call paradise. I mean, it's just beautiful around here. We always have every night deer come through the field here and um, fall is probably my favorite with trees changing colors. We got a really nice nice set of woods here so we'll be enjoying looking out the windows for sure. I can picture it already yep. and it's really not going to be too far away with all the progress you guys are already making. Yeah hopefully everything will like I said just keep falling into place and we'll just keep chugging. Exciting. Real happy for you guys. So we got our string lines out for where our, our plumbing walls are going to be so we're going to we're going to trench out where all our plumbing needs to go and we'll get all that stuff stubbed up uh, so it's ready for the concrete to get poured. Before the concrete is poured, we need to make sure that all the proper plumbing is in place. We have a combination of three inch for our main service, four inch for our toilets, and two inch for our drains. And for the hot and cold lines, Lucas has chosen to use PEX tubing. PEX allows him to run long lines that are uninterrupted. With the plumbing roughed in, the next step is to do a final grade. The concrete crew has measured the exact height the ground needs to be, and they'll level it by adding or removing sand. Once that's complete, they'll pack everything down using a plate compactor. The concrete guys got done yesterday, uh, bringing everything up to a finished grade. Leveled it out nice for us, so we are laying down our vapor barrier, and um, right now we're getting our, our tape up on the concrete block here, so we get a good seal um, closing off that vapor barrier. And once we're done, we got a couple more rolls here, and then we're gonna start get, getting foam down. This heavy-duty black poly is a moisture barrier as well as a barrier for radon gas. Not all areas have high concerns for radon gas, but it's always important to check with your local building codes. This thick, rigid foam is an additional barrier, but most importantly, it keeps the heat from absorbing into the ground and instead reflects it back up into the house. This thick, rigid foam was also applied to the inside of the frost wall. Today the concrete crew is on site and they will be pouring the garage floor. They also set the threaded anchor bolts, which connect into the sill plate, connecting the home's foundation to the perimeter walls. Meanwhile, inside the home, they are working on the in-floor heat. All the PEX tube is laid out 
and it connects back into the boiler system in the utility room. Lucas and Chelsea have access to natural gas, which will fuel the boiler system, which will heat up the water and hold it in a holding tank, and then spread it out through the manifold system so that it easily disperses throughout the whole home a steady and consistent temperature. What we traditionally see with any of our clients who are building on a slab is if it's in a colder climate, they're going to install in-floor heat. Now that the tubing is complete, the concrete crew can finish pouring the slab inside the house. Something we had encouraged Lucas and Chelsea to do was to have a zero barrier entry from the garage into the home. This is something that I did in my own personal home and I love it. It's not only great for accessibility, but it's also very convenient whether you're bringing in groceries or moving furniture. A really great idea that Lucas and Chelsea had was to pitch the concrete slab in the garage. This is perfect for snow that melts off during the winter time. Naturally, this will encourage all the water to flow toward the front of the garage, toward the garage doors. Now you might be wondering why they didn't pour concrete in this section here. This is where the zero barrier walk-in shower will be. The concrete will be added later and pitched to the drain. Now that the foundation is in, you're really gonna start to see the house taking shape in our next episode. Be sure to comment below if there's anything you'd really like us to highlight. If you got anything out of this episode, give us a thumbs up. And of course, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot more great content coming up as we feature this do-it-yourself dream home.